Hello guys and happy Halloween. Well, by the time you're seeing this, it won't be Halloween anymore, but happy belated Halloween then. But happy Wednesday most of all. As you can see, I'm like kind of not really in a costume because it, this is like a last minute outfit, honestly. This is actually from H&M. It's just like a little skeleton and then my leggings. Just bones, just trying to be a little festive today. Wish I like had a really cool like face makeup done, but I think I might go get my face painted later today. I can't decide. So, if you haven't noticed, I'm sitting in our new kitchen table. A couple hours, I'm, whoa. I'm gonna go see Karen and Qua and the, the kids to see what their little costumes look like. I know what they're gonna be, but I just wanna see them dressed up because they're so freaking cute. But before all that, I just, want to get, I just wanted to give you guys a house update because I haven't in a while. And I'm sure you guys are curious to see what our house is looking like. So for starters, Brady is officially moved in. She's been with us for a week now and she's done really, really good. The only thing she did bad was... Brady, what'd you do? You want me to show him what you did? Devoured our remote. We have duct tape in the back because the whole back piece is completely gone. She like destroyed the bottom and destroyed the top. I'm not gonna complain if that's the worst she's gonna do, which it better be. That's okay. We can always get a new remote, it's replaceable. But other than that, she's had no accidents in the house. She's been really good peeing and pooping outside. She hasn't peed on the like putting green area. She's been peeing and pooping in the mulch area. She loves to run around out there. She chases squirrels and lizards. From our bedroom, nothing really drastic yet. The painters do come next Monday, so by next Wednesday, next week, you'll see like majority of the house, well not majority of it, but some of it will start will be painted. We're going to start from like the back bedrooms and work our way to the other side of the house. So our bedroom will probably be last. This is our bed. I don't think much has changed. I think I showed you the throw or the yeah the throw blanket, and then we just got like a little throw pillow. Our kitchen table. We got rid of the beer pong table, and now we have a pretty kitchen table. And the flowers look so nice on it. This is the chairs. Oh, Brady's trying to get in the picture. This is the bottom of the table. I just got these curtains today. I only hung one up because I'm very indecisive. They're more lighter, but they have like these hints of, you can't really see it. Yeah, kind of. These hints of blue right there, which we have like blue in our kitchen kind of right on the tile over here. I was trying to incorporate that, but I don't know if it's too light. And we also want to get like a round rug under the kitchen table. And I don't know like what kind of rug we're going to get. So I don't know if I should get the rug first, then get curtains or just keep these curtains and get a rug off of that. I don't know, I need your help. Comment down below and tell me what you guys think. Do you like the curtains or you don't like the curtains? I got these wallflowers. How cute are they? There's one and then there's one in the hallway over here. Live, love, woof. These things, this lighting is awful. Those things smell so good. They're from Bed, or Bed Bath & Beyond. Bath & Body Works. I highly recommend them. I got the scent called Autumn, and it literally made our house smell so good. Like, it's night and day. I got these decorative towels. I incorporated the blue from the wall because we're not gonna paint this room. I just need to get some like bath mats down there. So Halloween decoration-wise, we haven't really put up much stuff, only because Halloween came so fast and between moving in and stuff. But we have some, we have some Halloween decorations. Like, we have these little spider lights going across the fireplace. This random candle holders uh, We have these little sticky things up there. We hung the witch hats out here So they kind of look like they're floating. This is all messed up because of the wind just got this cool Like drink dispenser thing making like a Halloween sangria tonight so and we forgot we didn't have like a Pitcher to put it in so I had to run to home goods real quick and I had this and it was on sale for four dollars and it's It's Halloween. We also hung some things. It's feeling a little more like home We hung this So we hung, or hang, ugh. 
We're gonna hang our keys right there, put our mail in there, and this is Brady's leash and collar. Pretty much it on getting you guys updated on what the house and what we've gotten so far. It's coming along, guys, and honestly, I'm, I'm so excited to decorate for Christmas. I'm just gonna go all out, like, because by then we'll have lived in the house for like two months. Our next purchase is gonna be patio furniture and then probably like a rug under the couch. Tonight we're gonna make some dinner and have like trick-or-treaters come over. I think Cassie's niece and nephew are gonna come over for a bit and we're gonna see them dressed up. And later on tonight we're gonna go to Halloween Horror Nights and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. And for those of you who don't know who, what Halloween Horror Nights is, it's hosted at Universal and it runs from like the end of September to like November 4th. And it's Halloween themed and they have scare houses and scare zones. We go every year. I'm so excited to take you guys with me because you can see how scared we get throughout the houses. I don't know if I'm allowed to record through the houses, but I'll definitely take you through the scare zones and show you what kind of Halloween Horror Nights is. Let's get started with Halloween. Okay, so I just got to Karen's house and she's a freaking deer. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna try and do my makeup because she's the best. We're gonna do something really crazy, but I think I might be going to Halloween Horror Nights tonight. And I don't know if I can walk in with all this crazy face makeup on, so we're just gonna like do my mouth area and kind of look, I don't know, you know how they do those lines? Kind of make it look like a skeleton mouth. So let's see how she does. I have faith in her because she made herself look like a legit deer and yeah, it turned out really good, so. I'm videoing. Don't peek at the video. you do that? I have no idea. I look dead. Do you like it though? Yeah, it's really cool. Dead. So cool. It's like a Snapchat filter. With it is! Filter. Good, actually. <laughs> look weird. <laughs> oh, hey, my dear. Oh, we're so cute. It's so cool. I need a picture. I I'm a boss ass bitch. <laughs> bitch. Bitch. I look bad. So I didn't get to see the kids dressed up because they were still napping. So our first two trick-or-treaters have arrived. <laughs> we got Moana and a minion. If you don't know them, this is Cassie's niece and nephew, Spencer and Everett. Yes, Thank you. What are you, buddy? <laughs> oh yeah, we put those there so you wouldn't run into it again. Yeah, Spencer ran into the sliding glass door so we had to put these stickies here so she could see them and not run into them again, right? Trick or treat. Trick or treat. You can pay. <laughs> 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 Alright, have fun guys. One of many trick or treaters. <laughs> Dang it, I was recording. Where is everyone? Damn Robert! Robert ruining my trick or treating! <laughs> Moana and the little minion is back. Our back. Our back. Our back. <laughs> God, my is grammar. Back. I'm sorry. Hi, buddy. Did you get a lot of candy? Can I have a bite? Uh, <laughs> caring is caring, though. Spence, or Everett, you're not going to share with Tay-Tay? Wow. You're not going to give her one? You know what? Oh. That was so Thanks, sweet buddy. of you. Aww. <laughs> Look how cute they are. Hey, hey, 
We are officially going to Halloween Horror Nights. It'll be fine. So you guys will definitely experience Halloween Horror Nights with me. We're not staying long because I don't want to be there late. This might be our last time at Halloween Horror Nights for 2017. Not as busy as it was last Friday. All right, we are officially in Halloween Horror Nights and we're gonna enter our first scare zone. Who are the twins that walk together? Where are they from? The Shining. Oh man, I don't ever want to see that. They're like this. They can't even see us, but they, they hold hands. They're identical twins and they're scary. Just know we're holding hands and we're scary <laughs> AF. Hey, where are we going? Oh, Kids? oh we're not entering our first scare zone. Uh, so you know, we're not entering a scare zone, but we're still holding hands. <laughs> These are the twins we were talking about. But you're not gonna get to them. Oh, they're walking back. We're, we're gonna find them for you. Twins! Right there. Entering the first scare zone, but we actually have to go to this house because we've never been in it and it's only 30 minutes. Woo! Oh, yeah. We're entering the American Story House. American Story? What's it called? American Horror Story. Oh. American Horror Story House. It's only a 30 minute wait. I don't know if I'm allowed to videotape inside, but I'll show you my face afterwards. Really freaking loud. We're in like the pre line, so we're kind of inside the house, but we're still in a line. We haven't gone in the house actually. Not allowed to videotape inside the house. They'll kick me out, and I don't want to get kicked out. I'll tell you my experience afterwards. I've never been in this house, so I'm kind of excited. Do you watch American Horror Story? No. How many of you guys watch American Horror Story? Comment down below. Oh. My heart's still racing. My ears are bleeding because I plugged my ears so hard. My ears are blue. Blue? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that house was the longest house I've ever been in. It was at least seven minutes. I, was, it, I don't even understand. It's like, so long. That was the and best it was, house. It was really, really good. I think it's better than Scarecrow now. So this is a change of scenery. I'm officially back at home and in bed. My makeup off, my eyes are red. Um, so before I forget, I just wanted to mention who the winner was for the pumpkin carving contest. So many of you voted for the skull slash trick or treat one. And that happened to be Courtney's pumpkin. So she deserved to win. Her pumpkin was awesome. And actually the ghost one was Mitchell's brother. I saw a lot of you comment that one and then you guys obviously knew what mine was. And then a lot of you said the witch shoes, which was Mitchell's brother's girlfriend, Danielle. I mentioned her a couple times in my videos. Um, she's the one that does like the really, really good workout videos. So um, if you're looking for a good workout video, go to her Instagram. It's sweat, smile, repeat. I'll link it down below. So Mitchell's was the flamingo slash like the flamingo and palm tree one but his when he was carving his his flamingo completely like just fell apart so he had to use toothpicks to put it back together so if you couldn't make out what that pumpkin was that's what it was and that was Mitchell's. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and kind of seeing what Halloween Horror Nights was like. I didn't want to give away too much because you guys should definitely go if you're in the Orlando area. If you're not, you should come visit next year and see and then you can also see me. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. Follow me on my social media. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye. Before I go to, I'm in the process of editing Mitchell's video that he and my brother filmed when they went golfing and it's quite interesting. Really weird, but.
I don't, I don't know, you guys might not enjoy it, but it's kind of funny. Well, to me it is. Sorry for my breath. <laughs> Don't look. Can you stop talking so I can talk? No. Busy. Busy. Busy calls me mom. She mom. Drink tonight. Mom? It says no drink. Shut up. Real life, mom. You mom? took it out. Is it in your pocket? No, mom. You got like three things in here. Why can't I feel the wallet? 